Hey guys, so after much consideration, I've decided that I'm going to be a part of the 2013 Booktubeathon. The Booktubeathon was created by Ariel Bissett and Padfoot and Prongs 07, also known as Ariel and Raylene, so I'm going to leave their links down below. Please go check out their videos announcing this awesome, awesome idea and go support their channels because they're great booktubers and I absolutely love their videos. Basically, their idea was to do a giant readathon within the booktube community, and this is going to take place from July 15th to the 21st. So, everyone who is a part of it has seven days to read as much as possible, and also they created some challenges that you can complete during this time. At first, I was actually pretty hesitant to be a part of it because I didn't think I'd be able to read that much, but after I thought about it more, I realized it's all for good fun. I'm pushing myself to read, which is what I want to do this summer, and it's just going to be something to kind of, I don't know, get me motivated to start reading a lot more, and I actually want to challenge myself to see how much I can read in seven days. So I totally encourage you guys to join this as well if you want to. Like I said, I'll leave all the details down below, so check out their videos for the full explanation. So yes, like I said before, they created a series of challenges that you have the option of completing and I really want to try to complete them all because I think it'd be a lot of fun and it's just a way of, uh, I don't know, giving some structure to the whole readathon and I want to see how many I'm able to do. So in this video I'm going to be going over the books that will be going towards those challenges, what I'm reading, what I plan on doing and all that super fun stuff. So in total there are eight challenges. So one of the challenges is actually to see how many challenges you can put together and combine. So instead of one book per challenge, I've combined one book for maybe two challenges and things like that. So in a way, I'm already completing that challenge by doing this. So yeah, that kind of puts one challenge out of the way, but I'll be going through that again once I go through these books as well. So with the first book I chose, which is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa, I am getting rid of two challenges and completing those because one of the challenges is that you have to reread a book and another one is to read a book that's 500 pages or more. So this book knocks those two off the list because I've already read it and it's more than 500 pages so I thought it was a perfect time to reread it because I just got the sequel and I forgot a lot about what happened in this book. So I've decided to reread it to get back in the series and to remind me how much I love this book book. So this one will complete two of the challenges. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this whole book. It is pretty big, but I think I'll be able to do it. So with those two challenges out of the way, there's another challenge that says you need to complete a series or trilogy. So I chose Sever by Laurent Di Stefano, which is the third and final book in the Chemical Garden trilogy, to complete this challenge. So I will be reading this over the readathon. I love this series. I cannot wait to see what happens in this book and see how it all wraps up. I'm totally excited, so hopefully I'll be able to finish this one and complete this challenge. Alright guys, so for the next challenge, you need to read a book that's been on your shelf for a really, really long time. And because I have a lot of books that fall under this category, I've decided to choose two books that will go through this challenge. So, I've chosen Bruiser by Neil Shusterman and Zombies vs. Unicorns by a bunch of different authors. This one is rather small, so I think I'll be able to read these. I have no idea, maybe not. I'm kind of scared the more I look at these books, and I only have seven days to read them. But I'm totally excited because these books have been on my shelf for a pretty long time, especially Zombies vs. Unicorns, so I'm excited to finally sit down, get through them, and see what I've been missing this long, for this long, long time. So there are two other challenges that I've chosen to combine. Basically, it says that you need to read a classic and also listen to an audiobook. So I've decided that I want to listen to Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen as an audiobook. So hopefully I'll be, be able to find it, listen to it, and kind of check those challenges off my list. I've heard so many great things about Jane Austen's works. I've never read any of them, so I think that's kind of... Um, sad to say that out loud. So I really want to take this opportunity to not only read it but also listen to an audiobook which I've never done before. Let me know if there's any good ways of getting an audiobook um, online. I've never done it before. I'll have to do some research and see what I can do. So that would complete two of the other challenges by combining it as one. Alright guys, so all those books I just mentioned go to those series of challenges. So with those out of the way, there's actually still one more challenge that I haven't talked about and it's the most difficult one because it says that you have to read 300 pages a day. So if I read all those books I just mentioned, it's actually less than 300 pages a day. So if I want to complete that challenge, I need to read one more book. I've chosen one book that actually gives me that challenge and also makes me complete another series because it's Shades of Earth by Beth Revis and this is the final book in the Across the Universe trilogy. 
So if I manage to read this one along with all those other books, I will be completing every single challenge, um, including the plus 300 pages a day. So honestly, I will need all the strength I can get to finish all these books. Honestly, if I complete the rest of the challenges and not the 300 pages a day, I won't be too upset. This is just a bonus for me. If I have the time, I'll complete this one. That means I'll complete all the challenges. But basically, all those books I just showed you before, if I just read those, that's good enough for me. But this is an added bonus, and I'll even be more excited if I manage to read 300 pages a day. So yeah, give me some more positive energy for the next week. I'll definitely need it to complete all these books books. Alright guys, so that concludes all the books that I'll be reading during the readathon. Definitely let me know down below or leave a video response about all the books that you'll be reading during that week if you're participating. I would love to know what you're what you've chosen and what challenges you're gonna try to complete or if you're not. Definitely let me know. Um, I wish you guys luck. Um, I hope you guys have a great time. I will be updating you guys next week throughout my videos talking about what I've done so far and then I'll make an in conclusion video where I talk about what I did, what I completed, and what I was able to read so look forward to that thank you guys so much for watching this video I'll see you Sunday with a brand new one so until then thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye